I have access to his hips, him not so much. I can literally turn him with that pressure and step over. And now I can finish with a straight leg. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Nick and Ibrahim here. And we are here at Party Elite Stalinbush in South Africa. And today we are going to fulfill a request on how to do a posture crab safer. Alright, so this move is actually based on a catch wrestling maneuver, which we're going to go into detail first. And then just go through the differences for the pro wrestling variant. And then we're going to go through some options to possibly make it safer. The truth is, the Boston Lake the Boston Crab is actually a safe move already. So making it safer, I mean, you're just working around somebody who's like stiff, you know, not as in a stiff worker who wrestles hard, but somebody who is, who doesn't have good mobility and their joints are long. All right, cool. So if Ibrahim is in a supine position here, all right, so let's say I've achieved a take, oh, so we're gonna go with the submission grappling stuff here, the shoot stuff first, right? So let's say I've achieved a takedown of some kind and I'm in this, I have to engage a passes guard, for instance. All right, so let's say uh, he's in supine and maybe he is, his feet's up, all right? And of course now, uh, if we're in the supine position, if he knew, sorry, he's not a, a grappler like I am. He doesn't know much about the knee elbow connection and stuff like that. But, you know, if I were to move around him, he would put his foot on my hip and readjust himself. All right, this already gives me the attack. So from here, I can just take my forearm, all right, I want to get bone to bone. So the bone of my forearm to the bone of his ankle, so I can really put tension on that Achilles tendon, all right? And I want to get his toes crimping behind my arm. All right, cat wrestling is, you know, was brutal. So from here, I lock my hands and then I lift and I put that tension on and I want to lift his hips, all right? Now he's protecting himself very well because he doesn't want to tap, but if he failed to pick this one up, he would be on his neck right now, all right? So now, from this point, all right, I have access to his hips, him not so much. I can literally turn him with that pressure and step over. And now I can finish with a straight leg. That really hurt. Mm -hmm. okay. All my so I just push my hips out and I tilt my body or my upper body a bit back to put pressure there on the ankle. Right this here. All right. So very brutal. All right. So if we do the the Boston crab now. All right. Let's say I've done a spine buster. Oh. All right. Random on the ropes with the spine buster. Okay. So here. Meat on meat. So I'm gonna get the meat of my forearm on some meat of the calf. The higher up the better, all right? But the thing is, meat on meat, it's soft, all right? So that way you don't put unnecessary pressure on the calf itself because if you get the bone on there and then grind, it's not gonna be nice, all right? So nobody likes uh, working with a stiff worker, okay? So from here, I can stand and already here, because of, of me being so low, and I'm not forcing him up, okay? I can make it look tense. I just have to base my feet wider and I can make it look powerful, okay? Here, he can, you can see now he's a bit lower, so he can move around a bit more freely, all right? So this way he can work with me, and when I turn over, we can make it look powerful. He's on all fours, I'm not bending his spine, I can make it look powerful. I'm really looking like, ah, like I'm cranking it every single time, okay? And then he can just sell it, you know, like he's in pain. Okay, cool. As you can see, it's pretty safe already. Now the golden rule about pro wrestling, it's always working the left side, unless you're in Mexico or something, all right? But it's also a new age of wrestling, so, you know, people switch it up, it gets weird. But the old school golden rule is always to put up the left side, left arm, left leg, all right? Because, I mean, if we know that golden rule, you always know what they're gonna go for, 
when it comes to working the leg. Alright, when somebody can have that expectation, that already makes it a bit safer. Okay? So how do we use safer variants of this? So when we flip them over, right, if they don't have the mobility to support um, the entire movement, we can do something to keep them lower so that it's easier for them to flip. I mean putting what we did now can put a bit of pressure on the spine for some people. Alright? Um, every rest is different. We all have our limitations, right? Be it, you know, with our wrestling character, with our physicality, and our overall athleticism. Age. Yeah, age plays a big factor. I mean you can only take so many bumps without your joints getting stiff after a while, right? Or accumulating those injuries. So you can work with them. You know, by just allowing them to be mobile, mobile by not taking the hips off the ground and allowing them to roll over their shoulder or their forearm where they can feel like they have some control to support the movement. Alright, so if we were in the same position, okay, if I could do a variant, I could literally arm the spine buster, take the arm, swoop it underneath the knee, and use this to flip them over. And then, of course, if I want to make it look more real, I can swoop again and lock it in. It's an idea, and look at how I'm positioned here. I'm not standing on my feet, I'm nice and low. Uh, this, does this feel better than the previous one? Feels yeah, better, yeah. And the reason because that is, is because he's lower to the ground, and I'm not bending him as much. He's not in a all forward position, all right? So that could create some bend in the spine. He's flat on his belly here, and I'm not pulling as far back. Okay, so the lower his hips are to the ground, the more likely I can protect him. All right. So let's go through a different variant. What's that other one we went to? Um, oh. No, 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 there was another one. Okay, cool. So the other one is, okay, we can do the same idea, all right? Well, the spine muscle or whatever we do to get him in the supine position. We can go once again, meet on meat. Okay, the meat of my forearm onto the meat of his calf. And when I stand, I just press or make it look like I'm pressing on his leg with the opposite one. I stand with a wide base where actually most of my weight's on that leg because I'm not pressing on that because I'm not a dick. All right, and then I can hold like here, right? Pinning him down. Okay, still making the escape easy for him to work, where he can kick that leg out, bring it around, kick me in the gut or the face or whatever, boom. Okay, but here, same idea, boom. And then of course, I mean, I can always switch back to the Boston Crab. Boom. Okay. So I, I hope that gives you some insight to make it safer. I mean, the best thing that you can do is always ask the, the, the wrestler that you're working with in the locker room before your match, you know, what are you comfortable with, what are you capable of, like what injuries do you have, and you know, work with those limitations. The best thing to do is actually just ask and, you know, communication is key. Yeah, communication is key. And, you know, ask and work according to those limitations. I mean, the worst thing you want is in the first minute, a serious injury occurs, and then, you know, uh, are you gonna take that uh, show must go on mentality and risk it? Or, you know, are you gonna pull it puts right there? I mean, different people will have a different mindset towards this issue, so, best is to talk about it and go like, okay, cool, if you can't do much movement with the hips or spine, because, you know, the, uh, some idiot at a previous show, the gig, uh, really screwed you over there by slamming you like as hard as they can onto the concrete floor and uh, you know you got to work with that so I, I hope this gives some insight on how to work with somebody's mobility and just to make it easier and less strenuous on, on their part so that should just cover it all right cool so we've come to the end of the video uh, if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this, seeing us adjusting wrestling moves or more grappling moves uh, uh, from my side, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I would like to hear uh, your suggestions and I'm going to definitely try to follow up on them.
So, until next time, guys, uh, have a lovely rest of your day. Take care and keep safe. So, until next time.